Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy using both the Ultimate Universe Mod 2.2 and the 11 Mod, and one of you a little while ago wanted to see what would happen if instead of allying themselves with the Cardassians, the Dominion allied themselves with the Romulans. And so we have Romulans and Dominion versus Federation, Cardassian, and Klingon ships. So it is, let's see, how many ships are on our side? We have three here, and then we have, let's see, I think six Tadaradixes in addition to those. Uh, two Jem'Hadar supercarriers, two Jem'Hadar attack cruisers, two, uh, or not, not Jem'Hadar attack cruisers, just Dominion attack cruisers, even though they are crewed by the Jem'Hadar, and two Dominion strike cruisers, as well as one Dominion heavy warship and one Dominion battleship. And on the enemy side, we have a whole collection of starships and battle cruisers and command vessels, and it should be pretty intense. I'm not going to run through all of them, but there are 32 of them, and there are less than 32 on our side. So they outnumber us, but do they outgun us? And can they outmaneuver us? Only time will tell. A few minutes, anyway. I'm betting that we are going to win just because of the Dederic class warp. Sensors report Klingon ships. Those things are deadly. Okay, let's move one fleet here. Warp speed, Centurion. Uh, one fleet here. Deterrence one fleet reporting. here. Proceeding to coordinates. Altering course. And another fleet here, I guess. Oh no, we only had three to begin with. Okay. Initiating warp. Oh, and I've frozen. Sorry, okay. Reporting. There they are. Fools, you are clearly outmatched. Oh, some lag. It might be from the supercarrier. Not sure. Commander, enemy shields are down. An enemy vessel has been detected. Those Dominion vessels have exceptionally long range weapons. There is no escape for you. The Aldara is on fire and is about to explode. That should do it. We are reading an enemy ship nearby. Oh, and we're frozen. Target neutralized. Cardassian vessel neutralized. Ah, there is a galaxy class. There's a couple of them actually. One of them is being fired on by the Dominion. By the fire phase. Not sure what's causing this lag. There Some vessel no out there. For you. Galaxy class starship is no more. What's left? A lot of things are left. Ah, Phoenix variant. There's, uh, there's a. There's a Cheyenne class over there. Oh boy. And we're 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 very much frozen. Our shields are low, Commander. Target shields down. An enemy vessel has been detected. There is no escape for you. Target there we go. Destroyed. Nebula class Commander. destroyed. Lock torpedoes. You would stand against us? You invite your doom. Target Tech class is gone. Commander. An enemy vessel has been detected. Okay, there is an Excelsior class. Set, Commander. 
Let's target them. Oh boy. This lag is something else. We cannot maintain shields. We've lost shields the on the first warbird. Oh, there's all the fun. Target shields down. This Keldon class refit is about to stop existing. All according to plan. Oh, there's the Defiant. Is it the Defiant? Yeah, it is the Defiant. Let's change target then. Commander, enemy shields are down. Oh, another Defiant class. The Pele, or Peel, or Pile, or however you want to pronounce that. That's it. Defiant is destroyed. Okay, how many ships are left? I think I see a Miranda on sensors. We oh, a lot. There's a steam runner nearby. over there. Warp drives engaging, Commander. Let's move up here. Everything is a little cramped. Aborting warp, Commander. Another victory for the Empire. The Praetor demands your destruction. Oh boy. Might be those Gemidar strike cruisers or something causing the lag. Or the carriers. There we go. We can almost look at it from this angle. But not quite. Let's switch to ship number three. There we go. Ah, the Dauntless is still here. Not for long, I think. You would stand against us? You invite your doom. Yeah, it must be those other Dominion ships. This is debilitating. demands your destruction. The vessel destroyed. destroyed Commander. Klingon vessels on approach. Klingons are on approach. Okay. We cannot maintain I'll shields. Target uh Course set, Commander. Whatever the nearest thing is, I guess. Maybe the next nearest thing. There we go. Klingons. This is no challenge. Tell me where I can find an opponent worthy of my skills. Target shields down. Our destruction is imminent. Klingon ships spotted. You would stand against us? You invite your doom. Klingon there we go, Vorcha destroyed. Next target would be what? Not that many of them left. Ah, the Steamrunner class. We have entered the coordinates, Commander. Is somewhat close by. Or the Vorcha. That'll work too. Yeah, wow, I'm 
I am shocked. I did not anticipate this lag. Klingon ships spotted. I apologize. Threat neutralized. Fools! You are clearly outmatched. Commander, enemy shields are down. Their shields have been taken offline. They're damaging their hull, especially with those torpedoes. There goes their port and cell. Perhaps their starboard one will follow, or the rest of their ship will follow. That that works too. Klingon vessel destroyed. I will accept that. Target shields down. We have served our Praetor. There is no escape for you. It's just a few Klingon vessels left. That is it. I think there's a Vorcha. Yep. And two Nagvars. And now the lag has stopped. Strange. The Praetor demands your destruction. How many of our ships are left? Really? Not nearly as many as when we started off. Look at that. We've actually lost quite a few of the D Dominion vessels. It's really a lot of Romulan ships. That's what's comprising our fleet right now. The last vessel. The Vorcha attack cruiser. Not for long. You would stand against us? You invite your doom. We have prevailed. Warp speed, Centurion. And we are done. All hostile targets neutralized. Not bad. Well, that battle took just under 10 minutes. We lost one of our three command vessels and we were able to destroy the entire enemy force. So if you guys enjoyed that battle, well then please be sure to leave the video a like. And if you are not subscribed and you want to see more, well then please subscribe because there is always more Star Trek legacy on this channel. If for whatever reason you guys did not enjoy the video, however, I do apologize for that, and I ask that you leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what it is that I can do to improve the next videos that I produce, so that hopefully you guys will find some entertainment when watching them. And, if you want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, well then feel free to leave a comment in the comment section regarding that, and I will read through all of those suggestions and ideas, and I will do my best to use those recommendations in my future videos. So as always, I am Foxtrot Delta, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you next time.